Yeah, I wanted to show you something important. It's rather hard to film, especially when you need to film the ferro cell at an angle. I wanted to show you a shrinking torus of light. I'm actually able to use magnetism and show the dielectric z-axis radial component of light and use magnetism to show you dielectricity and voidance and the accretion of light in a, a torus, a decreasing torus using a strong uh, divergent magnetic fields. You're able to see it here. Here you can see it. This is actually a torus of light using the Tim Vanderelli ferro cell invention. Underneath I have a one inch by half inch N55 Gauss neodymium iron boron on top of ring neodymium. As you see, I bring it closer. Now in complete voidance, almost complete voidance, there's still about a quarter inch of glass. Two pieces of glass between the two neos. So let's show you a torus of light again. Of course, it's hard to slow down the uh, accelerated motion. But, there you see it. You see the illumination along the decreasing torus or donut of light. And it's as close as we can get without actually avoiding the glass between. It's also very hard to slow you, show you in slow motion. You can actually see the torus in the center. Forming, and then you can see the torus of light. Here you have a holographic like projection of light, a torus of light, a shrinking torus of light that's formed from dielectric voidance between two centripetal magnetic fields and voidance, or what you incorrectly call attraction. So this is a torus of light, a shrinking sphere, shrinking torus of light between two dielectric fields and voidance. The light is of course entering around the periphery of the ferro cell. Nobody's seen this before, so you're the first person to ever see this. And let me make another quick video to show you something else that might be rather hard to show.